generally the works that are produced by video artists or video documentarians, people who make documentaries that are not standard narrative documentary, appeal to an audience that is not the mass market. It appeals to a specialized market, a specialized audience, generally college educated, who have grown bored with broadcast television as it stands now, who are intelligent enough to figure out things for themselves and don't need constant narration to tell them what they're seeing. Uh, to me, this seems like a domestication, really, of the avant-garde. Uh, it's great, fantastic. The best audience reaction is when you get two types of reaction. You get people saying, this is the best thing I've ever seen, and people saying, if you ever play that again, I'm going to kill you. And that's, that's what I try to look for, is the two extremes. I think it's the most meaningless piece of trash, shit, banality that I've ever seen. Oh, I thought it was wonderful. I want people to look at the work I make and say, that's, that's, inc that's just, well, look at that. That's just a great, I, I don't, I've never seen anything like that. I, I never felt anything like that. I've never, you know, I, I don't understand it, or I, I do understand it, or I, I'm just moved in a certain way. I've never seen anything like this before. And the thing that got me was how, how it was produced and how they did it and how they got all these effects. I never saw anything like that before, so for me it was quite new. It was big and old-fashioned. You might say that, and Duchamp certainly has said that, the audience completes the art process. And yes, I'll agree with that. But it, given that the work is already done, what does that allow for the artist in that situation to receive the response? But um, the live performances are very interesting because not only is there the public there, but I am creating the piece in the presence of the public. Yeah, it was spectacular. It was uh, overwhelmingly so. I was very, very moved. At the end of it, um, I was practically in tears. Never give a debutante a computer. When I hear the outside world's response, it's, e it's either black or white all the time. There are a lot of people out there who think everything we do is like soulless, contentless, technocratic, empty nothing. And they tell me. They actually come up and tell me. I thought it was very pompous, overblown, and self-indulgent. Uh, parts of it were immensely enjoyable, and parts of it were a little bit boring. And it's wonderful what she's doing. It's, I think it's breaking new ground, and it's nice for people to be exposed to all this stuff. And there's some magnificent work in there.